Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this um, quick makeup tutorial for you. It's sort of like a spring summer pop of color look um, using a tan color on the lids, um, a teal eyeliner underneath, and then just the pink, um, the bronzy face, and then with the pink. Uh, cheeks and lips. So I've been wearing this almost every single day. I really love it. It's pretty easy and it's very fresh looking. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look, just stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start off priming our lids and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion in Eden. And just use whatever you have. Um, I wouldn't use a paint pot for this just because of the way we're putting on the, um, the eyeshadow. You're going to need your Fix Plus. If you guys don't have Fix Plus, you can use like a squirt bottle with water. Um, that will work just as fine. And then I'm using my tan pigment, which looks like that. The brush I'm using looks like this. It's the Sigma E55. It's just an eyeshader brush. Use whichever brush you guys have. You're just going to take it and spray it. Might help if I have it turned on. Just spray it with the Fix Plus to saturate it. You don't want to get it too wet and then just take it and dip it right in the pigment. Tap off any extra and then you're going to just foil it on your lid. Spit it out cause I'm dying for company. I notice that you and it's okay if the um, edges are harsh right now we're gonna blend them out. So I'm gonna just keep looking down while this dries and give it a few seconds before I continue. Okay, I gave it a few seconds to dry. Now I'm going to go in with a color by MAC. You guys can use any color you want for this. If you want to, um, I've been wearing it sometimes with um, with mulch into the crease, but for today, I'm just going to get groceries and I don't want to have too much makeup on anyways. I think this is too much makeup for the grocery store, but I wanted to make sure to get this up. But um, the color I'm using is Honey Lust, which looks like this. Um, it kind of has like a little bit of a gold look and it has a lot of fallout so be careful with this and then I'm just using the Sigma um, E40 brush for this I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna blend out that line and this will give it a little bit of a lighter gold so you're going from like a dark copper color to a light gold color um, I did try amber lights with this and that looks okay but I just prefer to use this right now. And then I'm just going to use my Sigma um, E60 brush. Use any brush you want for this. And I'm using Floof, which is right there. It's just like a frosty white. This is the color Bella used in Twilight, FYI, in case any of you are interested. But just get a little bit of that on your brush. And then I just like to put that into my inner corner and kind of like feather it in. So it has more of like a gradient effect, you know what I mean? You can hear my dog drinking in the back. Okay, now for the bottom, we're going to be using um, any sort of bright pencil you have. Um, I prefer using like a blue or a teal because I really think that makes like the eyes pop. And it's a really great contrast with the tan. So I'm using the NYX um, eye pencil in aqua glitter, which is like this teal color. You guys can see it right there. And just put that right underneath your eye. I don't go completely in, but I go pretty far in on the bottom. And then I just bring it out a little bit towards the end there. Then use whatever sort of black um, eyeliner you want on the top. I'm using my super fat marker, which is actually already almost dried out. So, whatever. I'm not completely like winging it out, but I am extending it a little bit beyond the lash line. All right, now I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using Maybelline one by one. Okay, so this is the finished look of the eyes. Now we're going to do the rest of the face. I already have on my foundation, I've been using Bare Minerals um, Medium Beige, so I just have that on. And then I'm going to go ahead with my bronzer, and I've also, I've just been on a real Bare Minerals kick. I'll probably talk about it in my March favorites. But I'm going to be using um, their Faux Tan Bronzer. 
use whichever bronzer you like and I'm just applying it with the large uh, shader brush F30. You just get a little bit in the lid like that. Now with this, because it's so hard to distribute this without looking orange, I'm going to put it on a little weird. I pat it on my cheeks because I know a lot of people do like, like this, but I like to get it on my cheeks first because I like this to look very bronzy and glowy. Oof. Make sure you guys get your neck. My brush is shedding. I love this bronzer because it gives you a really nice glow. I like it even better than the Laguna, to be honest. Um, it looked like it had a sheen on it in the store, but like on my face, it's actually quite matte. I haven't noticed glitter at all, but then again, I mean, maybe it will show when you're outside. I don't know, but I love it. It's a lot like Laguna. You guys can kind of see it's kind of like a powder version of Laguna. They look very similar, so I really love this. And it's cheaper. It's only 18 for that one. All right. For blush, the blush I've been using with this is the um, So Sweet So Easy, and it looks kind of gross because it has brush hairs in it. But um, the formulation of this one's a little bit different than the, um, what is this one? Than the blush cream. These are the cream blend brush blushes, and I actually prefer not to put my brush in this one. I started off doing that at first, and now it's gross with brush marks in it, so whatever. But anyway, I get a little bit of it on my middle finger, and then I just take it and kind of pat it in circles. You don't want to rub it in because if you like rub it in, it's going to rub your foundation off, whether you're using powder or liquid. And once you guys, I have a brush hair right there. Okay. Once you guys get this on, if you want, you can then use, um, this is my favorite brush to use, it still has some blush on it. It's like a dual fiber brush. You can use that once you have it on to help blend it in a little bit, but um, I don't know. I feel that the finger works nicely for this. And I really love this color. It looks really pink in here. It's just like pink swoon and um, a cream version. But I don't know. I love it. I kind of lacquered it on because I put something over this. Um, whenever you use a cream blush like this, you definitely want to set it so it doesn't smear off your face. And you can use your HD powder. You can use, put more um, foundation over it. You guys are using a powder foundation. But I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil just because it came in my little set. I'm using the same brush. And this gives you guys the, um, you know, the more like airbrush look. It's very similar to using like the HD um, finishing powder. So put that on. All right, then for um, a highlight, I'm using my favorite Smashbox Illuminator. I just put it on my finger and rub it in. Okay. Then for lips, the color I'm using is Snob, and um, it's a satin, but it tends to like stain your lips, and it seems to go on more like a matte. It's very dry, so I always like to put, and plus my lips are a little chapstick, because it's still kind of like winter here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put on my chapstick now. I usually put this on before I start doing my makeup. I just forgot to. This one's new. It's the EOS um, Lip Balm, and this was the flavor. Um, it's called Sweet Mint, so any chapstick you have would be lovely. And then the color I'm using is Snob, which is a pink. It looks a lot like Revlon Pink Pout. And I just put that on. Sometimes I've been putting MAC Underage over it, but I mean, usually it's just this. So so yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I think it's going to be really great for spring and summer because you've got your like warm, um, tan on the top of the eyes with your pop of color underneath it and then your light nice light pink um, cheeks and lips I think it's really fun I've been wearing this almost every single day I just love it so um, yeah I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you all very soon